video is brought to you by Patreon show sponsor CT Sounds. You can see everything they have to offer at ctsounds.com. It's your boy Hi5 Vega back again, and this time I'm going to build a quarter wave, or better known in the car audio world, T line enclosure for these Pierce Audio 8s. You might ask, why do I want to build this type of enclosure for these 8s? Well, the FS on them is pretty high, around 47 hertz, and I like to get them to play a little lower. I'm no expert in this field, but I've been doing some research and I will walk you through what I've learned and give you guys a little helpful guide for when you want to try it yourself. Let's start off by calculating how long of a port we need. We will first determine the FS of our driver. We will then divide the speed of sound in your area by the FS of that driver and then again divide it by four. That number is the amount of port you need in this build. Now we're ready to start designing our enclosure. We will use the SD from the parameters and the physical dimensions to uh, calculate the port cross section. We first though need to find out how much space we have for our enclosure overall in our vehicle. We'll use these dimensions to lay out the port and remember that the port is basically your whole enclosure. I think it's important to remember that this is a very basic T-line or quarter wave enclosure design. Uh, it can get much more complicated than this. You can do a tapped horn, a folded horn, all different types of things. And this enclosure will need some tuning with polyfill and such, but I will do that at a later date. Right now, I just kind of want to get it built, see what it sounds like in its raw form without any polyfill. Also, our buddy Mark over at Car Audio Fab done a very, very good video on this. He goes into much more detail. You guys should really check that out. I will leave a link to it in the description. And he covers that topic very well, so check it out for sure. Okay, I've already got my holes cut out for the T-line. I'm gonna make a double baffle here. I've got it sectioned off so that I can cut it properly. And I just use a cutout piece to get my corners. So, I've done that in all four of these corners. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this whole section out right here. And then we'll have the subs kind of sit down in there. I've got the enclosure assembled now and I wanna stain it, but I want something a little different. So I decided to go with carpet for the baffle itself, gray carpet, and it kind of gives me that two-tone effect. And you know, it's a little more custom. I think it looks a little cooler. What I'm doing here is basically taping off the enclosure so that I do not get any spray adhesive on the parts that I already stained. I've already sprayed my carpet and I'll be ready to join the two together once I spray this baffle itself. The thing that I did not show is I have a eighth inch rabbit by one quarter inch long on the back side of this baffle. So once I cut all this access off, I will be able to stuff it in with a screwdriver and get a nice finished look on it. I'm very pleased with the aesthetics of the enclosure. We'll see how it sounds in a minute, but it's time to uh, get it ready to get connected with a terminal. And thanks to my buddy, Ron JL White, he hooked me up with this SMD round terminal. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. And it's one of the first ones I've used. So now that we've got all that out of the way, let's see what it actually sounds like with no polyfill. Yo, it's your boy High Five Vega here. We're gonna give you some demos of this little T-line enclosure. Like before, in most of my videos, all the windows are open. You can see the enclosure back there in the back. So let's uh, let's see what it sounds like.
was pretty happy with the enclosure overall. It does need a little tuning, um, kind of get some of the high end out. Um, things that I noticed about it, the power handling is not nearly as good as it should be in this enclosure, which is to be expected, I, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to play with it more. I will update it in the future and let you know, you know, how it changes when I add polyfill, that sort of thing. If you have any questions for me, you know, submit them below. If you like this kind of stuff and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, just comment below. Let's keep the conversation going. And like I said before, if you want a little more in-depth video, check out Mark's at CardioFab. He's got two videos on it, the explanation and the build. I will link to both of those in the description below. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to six dollar or more members. Alice McCullum, 2001 Monolithic, the Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Jason Nisley, Rick Quadabom, William Berg, CT Sounds, Byron Shambliss, The Car Audio Guy, and Jason Zimmer. For as little as $2 a month, you can get on the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube.